Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another episode of Minefield. So I have some news I want to share with you guys in this episode today, and it's some really good news. I also have some announcements as well that I want to tell you guys about. Uh, but where we left off from last episode is we uh, we built all these pillars here, and this is the start of the building of the monument room. I also showed off the design for it as well and what we're going to be doing in this episode today is we're going to be continuing continuing on with it and I've been collecting some materials as well so if we go to my storage room real quickly um, I collected a ton load more ton load of wood now so I've almost got a full double chest full of jungle logs and I've also collected um, some jungle leaves which will be going which are going to be going around uh, or at the top and the bottom of the wall. Uh, I'm probably going to need more, so uh, let's just grab these out just so we have them because we need to actually start digging it all out. We've actually got to dig the whole freaking wall out, which is going to take a while, but uh, I've got my good little pickaxe here, which shouldn't take too long. Actually, um, I'll put that in. Now, it might, it'll be a it might be a little bit laggy, and that's just because I'm uploading right now. Um, I've actually got to do, like, a lot of videos um, right now, so I'm actually uploading one of the advent calendars um, as we are speaking right now. So what I need to do is actually dig out the whole entire wall area. Um, so that's going to take a while, but I guess it has to be done, so I'm... Um, I want to go ahead and start now, and then as soon as we come back, it's all going to be gone. That's the magic of video editing. Love it. So finally, I've dug out the wall. That was quite quick for you guys, but for me, that took about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and also, I got slowed down due to that I'm uploading a video right now, and it gives me um, a decent amount of lag uh, while I'm uploading and playing on the server at the same time uh, but I finished it now and what we're going to do is start placing down the materials and I want to talk about oh, I want to just uh, discuss or tell you guys about the news that I mentioned um, at the start of uh, this video um, so uh, my internet is finally fixed now now I'm gonna go like over the whole story so I think it was about over a year over a year ago, um, our internet started playing up, like, it would start dropping out. Now, it was only doing it, like, once in a while. It wasn't doing it, like, all the time. So, we're thinking, like, oh, maybe it's just, like, a problem with the ISP or something like that. So, we're just like, yeah, we'll just leave it for a... We'll just leave it and see if it fixes itself. Um, six months later, it's still doing it. So, um... We still can't be bothered, and by then it was dropping out even more. Um, and then practically till today, or till yesterday, um, it was just dropping out so much that, like, as soon as it would reconnect, it would drop out. So you could, you so you like couldn't even use the internet at all. That's how like much it was dropping out. And then I'm just like, nah, we're going over to Telstra, we're getting a new, we're getting the new modem. And as soon as we've got that, I set it all up, installed it. Um, it's been working perfectly, our speeds are better as well. Hasn't dropped out since. So uh, I think it was our modem, which was the problem um, for all the dropouts. Um, but it's fixed now. Now I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing with these uh, like doors here because I wanted this here to be like the main entrance. So um, I'll see what I'll see what I'll do about it. I might make it so you can uh, walk through here still. I'll th I'll have to think about it. Um, but yeah, uh, the problem was the modem and it wasn't discovered until over one year later, which kind of like annoys me because it could have been fixed. Um, a lot earlier. So yeah, there we go. There's the first layer of the wall. Um, next, I think we need to go and get the leaves. The second thing I want to talk about is um, we are doing a charity, so the Minefields crew and I um, 
are going to be doing a charity and raising some money. Now this is like the first time I've ever done something like this and it's going to be pretty good if we raise... I, 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 I want to aim for like just $1,000 or something like that. Like, that's just... It's just an achievement. Just even getting $1,000 will make me happy and will probably help somebody. So uh, hopefully we can get something like that um, in the charity. But... Ah! Bloody skeletons. Wow. Talk about machine gun. Goon is, like, correct. That was annoying. That was annoying, alright. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um... I at least want to like raise one thousand dollars, and the charity that we're going for, and there are I'm going to tell the reason right now why we've chosen them. Now we're choosing a child's play. I know they're kind of like a mainstream type thing, uh, but the problem was that I well we or I didn't want to or put or anybody else. I didn't want anybody else in like the minefields um, crew to do this, but I didn't want anybody to have like the money. I didn't want every, all the money to go to someone in the, uh, the team. Now that sound is really loud and um, let's turn the master volume down. I didn't want anybody to have um, the money that people donate just in case. Like I know they probably wouldn't but um, people might just get like an idea that oh they're taking the money or something like that. So. Uh, when you actually donate, it actually goes directly to a uh, Child's Play um, PayPal account. Now, um, why we're still only another reason why we're only doing uh, Child's Play is because like no other company has a PayPal. Now, actually, I take that back. Other companies do have PayPal, um, but they don't make the email public. And we kind of need like the public email with the API, or not only API, um, this donation program that we're going to be using to notify us when someone actually donates and all that stuff. Um, so we actually needed the uh, public email, but no, no other company gave it out except for Child's Play. So that's another reason why we have chosen them. Now this is looking pretty good so far. Uh, I was playing with this uh, painterly texture pack just to see what it looked like, but it looks horrible. I was thinking about doing it just because it's Christmas. I guess I could just do play for play with it a little bit. It's not the best on here. It's only good when it's on um the uh, the advent calendars. So place them like that. It's looking pretty good so far. I would have to say. Uh, the design is quite simple, but it's uh, really effective. Um, simple is always the best, in my opinion. Um, I think that's why my uh, construction mod is quite popular. It's just very simple, easy to use, and that's what people love about it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just quickly finish off the leaves, and then I'm going to tell you guys about the next thing that we've got to do. Alright, so we've done the leaves now. What we've got to do is uh, do the planks. So we need to make a ton of uh, jungle logs. Now I'm going to go back to my other texture pack. It's quite annoying having that one on. Even though it's Christmas, um, it is a quite annoying texture pack sometimes, but it's only best on the advent calendar. So now we've got to do the planks, and this shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm going to get my uh, second camera set up here just so I can do kind of like a little mini time lapse for you guys because I like him. I like him. So I uh, hope you enjoy this.
So there we go guys, I finally placed in the materials and I have to say it's looking better than I expected. Um, usually when you just design one wall and then like one pillar, it doesn't like give the whole effect. Now that it's actually uh, the, wall's all d the wall is all done and the pillars are done on the sides, it actually looks a whole lot better. Um, I've actually still got to do these center pillars which I'm going to do later on. What I actually want to do now is actually head over to Buckle's house and uh, show you guys around because he's been doing a lot of work. Um, Mr. Crayf Mrs. Gayfisher recorded that segment just before. Um, so let's head over to Buckle's and we're going to be taking a look at him. He's apparently got a really, a really cool area. So let's head to his house. I'll show you guys exactly where it is in the uh, nether hub. So if we head this way, then we turn left, head over here, and then, uh, not here, up here, turn right, and then we need to follow this path. He, he goes, like, through the uh, fortress that we got over here. So continue going. We might go snag some food for him because we haven't stolen anything from him yet. Ha! <laughs> ha! So come over here, and I think you can, can you turn right here somewhere. Yep, here we go. If we can continue going this way, we'll eventually get to his portals. It's kind of awkward, but <laughs> it, it still works. Alright guys, here we are. We're finally at his portal, so let's head into his place, and I'll give you guys a little tour around his area. So he's going, I think... Alright, that's the wrong portal, my bad. This goes to his uh, other area. Um, but what he's doing is he is building some sort of sky city. I think that's what he's building, some sort of sky city. So I think the portal's over here for the sky city, yeah. This is the one here. But yeah, it's going to be really cool Like once he gets it um, all decorated, all um, finished. So yeah, here's the portal. Come out and... Oh, oh. I don't know what that is. I really want to know what, what the hell that is, because that is kind of cool. If that light like, detects when someone comes through the portal, that is awesome. Um, so yeah, this is his area. Uh, it's looking really nice. He's put a lot of effort into it. Um, so I think we have a some sort of villi uh, village breeding system here. And then we also have this massive one over here, which I don't know how he creates this stuff. I would really love to get this because we need villagers. We need villagers at our market. Maybe we could actually buy some off him. I think this is actually his um, iron farm. So I think, yeah, that's his iron farm. Look at, <laughs> holy crap, he's got three iron golems. Wow, that's so cool. I, I want to build this. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, over here, oh, he looks like he's been designing something up here. Didn't see that last time. I have uh, um, taken a quick peek at it just so I can get an idea of what his place does look like before I show it off to you guys. Right now, oh god. Alright, we're back and I don't know why it just disconnected then. Uh, but what I was saying is it's actually 12.30 um, in the morning right now. So it's pretty late for me recording. Hopefully my parents... Uh, aren't uh, woken up by me talking. But yeah, he's got a nice little um, chicken farm here. We might actually take some of the eggs. Oh yeah, that reminds me of my chicken farm. Yeah, I've still got uh, my chickens uh, breeding uh, where my nether wart grows. I'm not sure if it will deform the, the, the chickens, the hatchlings, ha hatchlings or something like that. Um, the baby chickens, I don't know if it will deform them or anything probably is. We're probably eating poison right now. But yeah, he's got a nice little automatic wheat farm. We won't set it off just because it's his farm, obviously. Uh, but yeah, he's got a decent amount of wheat in there, seeds and all that stuff. He's got an automatic sugarcane farm, which he's got a crap load. I'd love to take some of that. Maybe, I don't think you'll mind too much, just like one stack. Thank you. Thank you, Buckle. That's all you have to do now that you're on the server. And let's have a look up here. I think there's 
something up here. He's, I think he's building something. I don't know, really know. But yeah, this is going to be really nice once he uh, gets working on it. Ooh, alright. Looks like we got some sort of quartz pillars. Hmm. It's going to be interesting once he uh, completes it. So that practically uh, wraps up um, Buckle's area. He does have a house, but um, it's pretty empty and stuff, so I don't really feel like... There's no, re there's no real point of showing it. What's in these chests? Where's he store his diamonds? Where are they? Where are they? Eh. Hello there. That's a good book. I would buy that off him right now. Alright. Oh. Hello there, Ian. How are you doing today? <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's head back. And I'm not really sure what to do because um, this episode today wasn't planned that real well. And I usually don't know um, what to do if I don't have a planned episode. Oh, God, where do we go? <coughs> What I want to do real quickly is, um, I have, where are they, some shears, I had a fresh pit, fresh pear somewhere, here they are, I want to enchant them, because I, I know you can enchant them, and I do use the shears a lot for collecting leaves and such, I think I went through at least three pears, um, to get the leaves that I used today, um, on the build, so let's, uh, let's enchant these and see what we actually, uh, get, oh, what? Oh, um, I think it's only through books. Damn it. Ah, That really sucks. I, I was really looking forward just to enchanting them just then. Uh, you guys didn't just see behind me. I've still got to redo that room. How you doing there, Brown Caviar? I play his favorite game. This is I think he loves it. He loves it, don't you? You love it, don't you? Yeah. Nay. 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 He loves it, I know. I know he does. Oh. Eh. There we go. <laughs> I really want to redesign really this, or is it still... I guess it's kind of alright. It could be a little bit better, in my opinion. How you doing, Brown Caviar? You've been stuck in here for at least two, three months. I should let you out soon, shouldn't I? Well, too bad, you're staying in there still until I decide to let you out. And what are you doing in here, Mr. Sheepy? I've just got sheep all around my house, and it's quite annoying. I just noticed I had all these eggs in my inventory just then. So, uh, we're gonna lay all of them in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I already have a lot of chickens in here, it's crazy. Well, this lag is not helping too well. I don't know why it's lagging like that. Whoa. Lay, my friends. Lay. Oh, hatch. Hatch. I wish they added, like, an S... Uh, I wish they added in, like, a recipe for fried egg. And then you could have, like pork or get bacon and then make like a egg and bacon muffin oh my god that would be my uh, food source for minecraft for days i could do it myself but like people don't like mods like that they're just like boring boring mod it would just be something like for myself that i'd probably make um so yeah i'm gonna have to call that an end of the episode today um, hopefully it wasn't too short for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I'm currently at my mum's probably what, as soon as this episode comes out. So uh, I've actually pre-recorded a lot of videos that you're about to see um, over this weekend. Uh, mainly like advent calendar and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like. Tell me what you think about the room. Does it look awesome? Because I think it looks awesome. And I will see you guys for the next episode where we will probably continue building on it. I need to do the floor and the roof and that's going to be annoying. So uh, see you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.